Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the last quarter moon. Dealing with the energy of releasing in preparation for the new moon. This last quarter moon is under the astrological sign of Gemini. This reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides. What is the love brief for Aries? September, last quarter, Moon, Energy, Aries, Holy Spirit, and Angel Guides, Spirit Guides. What is change? <gasps> You're being called. You're being called. You have change the courage to embrace change and move in the direction that you're being called in right now mm, evolution is occurring your life path is changing mm. yeah there's always that karmic challenge and karmic debt karmic rewards karmic challenges Right now, your North Node, you know, I always pray for what's going on in a sign's North Node. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. I ask, Aries, this is about your North Node. Pay attention to what your intuition is telling you. Um, dreams, wishes. Your life is changing, and your job is to be the emperor. You're being called to be the emperor. You know, the emperor is always called, always called, always moving towards what they're destined to do. Mm. Yep. It's a, a constant change, constant change. Life is about constant change, right? We change until we die. Yeah, this is the Five of Pentacles reverse. Mm. So you may have been forced to change as a result of somebody leaving you, not being there when you needed them most, you having to depend on you. They could have rejected you. You felt wounded and lost, left alone. All of a sudden, you found yourself alone. And you had to change after all. What other option did you have? But you know what? You put progressed. You moved on. You took action. You had the courage to step out on faith. And you were paying attention to your intuition. A lot of new things are presenting themselves for you, Aries. You're learning a lot. You're meeting new people. All of this is part of your calling, what you're being called to do. Yes, you may not have been ready for this at the time, but you are now. The Ace of Air. Things are airy. You could have met a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but whatever and whoever you met, it's like all coming together. It's like you see the rationale, why they were put in your life, how, what you're doing now. God is expanding your circle to assist you. Okay. That's what's happening. There's a breakthrough. Um, action. Suddenly, uh, people and situations and Things that you needed are starting to come together. Okay. You know why? Because it's part of your destiny. Some of you are with your twin. Um, you already are spiritually connected. You couldn't ask for somebody more connected. This is real love. Some of you are answering your calling with your twin. Okay. Some of you just met up with a twin. Okay. And some of you are preparing for a twin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your twin flame is a divine connection. Mm -hmm. I believe there's only one twin flame and there are multiple soulmates. There are multiple soulmates. 
all can be karmic in nature or spiritually aligned. Okay. But I feel right now you are being given some resources um, and from and you're seeing that these resources are aligning with what you want to do. You're feeling like you're blessed. Yes, you're being blessed. Uh, <laughs> new perspective. Yes, your perspective is changing. Right. Overthinking. You can overthink. We all can overthink, right? Be more in our head. Um, start to worry. Have concerns. Okay. That's normal. You're a light worker. Okay. Spiritual awakening, inner shifts. There is some soul development occurring with this twin flame here. Um, you are being prepared for a twin flame union. Okay. Look for that. Some of you haven't met this divine connection yet. Mm-hmm. Tell me what's going on in the future for Aries. Courage to change, leading them to the North Node. Future. Thank you. Oof. I don't like that that's the last card, but future. So the future is about the King of Wands. Um, shadow work. Okay, and letting go of the past. The past is still in the future. So in spite of everything going good, you being on the verge of change, I think like from your work standpoint or from your point of service, because your north node is always about service to others, right? Your north node is about finding your life path, what you were called to do, your purpose, some people call it. It's all it always involves you being of service to others, right? So uh, tell me how your North Node aligns with service. Thanks. Give me a comment there. And you know something with this feeling of entrapment being at the center of your reading? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of you are being told that your thoughts should be centered. They should change from being consumed with feelings of entrapment to what you're destined to do, what you're called to do, what your intuition is telling you, right? You moving towards your destiny, Um Changing your thoughts. You know, your thoughts control everything. Thoughts control your life, right? If you think you can't, guess what? You can't. <laughs> if you think you can, guess what? You can, right? So you just want to think conversely of anything negative. That's all. What's the converse of anything negative that you're thinking? Especially when it concerns your ability to change your situation. You have to always think upon what you want, what you want. For you, in terms of love, definitely when it comes to a twin flame relationship, your, your ride or die, your thoughts have to be on passion, love, um, you know, taking action that brings a positive result. Hmm. And what you did in the past won't work in the future. Okay? Yes. Because there's shadow work here and there's past suffering energy here. And this is future energy. Right? So when it comes to love, you definitely want to be reciprocal in giving love, being loving, doing loving things, right? That's what's going to attract you two to each other. But personally, you have some shadow work to do. It stems from the past. It's spiritual in nature. 
that's a personal thing, right? And then, you know, just letting go of any energy where you felt rejected by others, hurt by others. You know, you understand now that we all are on a journey, a spiritual journey. And, and you can't hold any grudges or bitterment or anger towards others. Yeah, you got to let that go. Especially when it comes to love. That's the truth. That's the truth. What do you want to say about the thoughts? Which is at the center of Aries reading here. Aries thoughts. Yeah, you don't want them to entrap you. Seven of Wands reverse. You want to be free. That's a boundary that you have to free for, for yourself. You have to free yourself from any entrapment. By changing your thoughts and only focusing on what you want, where you're headed. See, this girl is focused on where she's headed. You can't tell me she's not, you know. And she's taking action. She's stepping on the train track so she won't miss the train. It would have to run her down to get past her, okay? So, talk about change. She is headed towards her destiny. And so... Spirit is saying your thoughts are the most important thing. This is the center of your reading. Guard your thoughts, but don't entrap yourself by your thoughts. Ooh, deep. Aries. Always so deep you are. What else? Spirit, tell me about the shadow work up ahead. Why is the shadow work reflecting? Still soul searching, being introspective. Uh-huh. I see there's still growth, Princess of Wands. You know, all Prince Page energy is open to learning, to learning something new. Yes. You know, there's something that hurt you in the past, Ten of Swords, that still needs to be resolved. There, this is your personal inner issues, thoughts concerning you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Love specifically now. Thank you, Spirit. This twin flame. What you did to get them is what you have to continue to do always to keep them. Yes. Said. <laughs> mm -hmm. You work hard, at, but they do too to keep you. Hmm. The signs are cautioning you, though. Something, maybe your thoughts, again, are causing you to feel a certain way. But Spirit is saying, in this case, pay attention to your feelings. Uh -huh. Thoughts control everything, right? And so, it's not that you shouldn't process your thoughts. Of course, process them. But when, process new thoughts that arise. But when you're thinking about the future, where you're headed, keep your thoughts on a positive note about where you're headed. Do not let the past pull you back. Yeah. Or keep you entrapped, right? On things that have already occurred, things you have no control over, distractions, disruptions. You know, no. And in love, even with a twin flame, there could be some red flags that are cautioning you. These are signs, so pay, pay attention to them. You're being told to process everything. But only give special things your attention going forward. Bottom card. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yeah, your spiritual path is your north node. You, it's a new path. Um, and, of course, your love life is being impacted by it. And maybe that's what's causing these red flags. You know, but it's you. Even if they are your twin, Spirit is telling me, even if they are your twin, you came to that union 100% and you should remain 100%. Anything that doesn't allow you to do what spirit is calling you to do is a red flag. Ooh. 
Yeah. Some of you may be at a point you have to release your twin. Ooh. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. Because your calling is stronger than your twin. Your relationship with your twin. Ooh, and it fell. <gasps> Before it was at the bottom of the deck, but then all that shuffling and it fell. So, whoa. <laughs> your soul development, spiritual growth is much more important than your relationship with somebody. You know, you could have been aligned with somebody you think they're your twin and they could be your twin and it doesn't matter. The, your relationship with spirit, your relationship with yourself matters more than anything else. Your love life is being affected by children. I don't know. Somebody could be pregnant. Somebody could be pregnant. She could be pregnant and moving. There could be a woman that's pregnant and they're releasing them because their life with their children, maybe it's a toxic life. Why? Why, Spirit? Why are they? If they have, how, what does this mean, children? Oh. All right, wait, please. What does this mean, children? Why is children impacting? This twin flame relationship. Or maybe uh, your twin is pregnant. Mm, you don't know that. Mm. Okay, maybe you're walking away. From, maybe somebody's walking away. Because they're on the move. I don't know. Tell me. Yes. A fool. New journey. Get away spiritual journey okay why are children because they're okay I asked why are the children here so somebody's pregnant somebody prayed for them a child and they got them princess of swords yeah Gemini Libra Aquarius Aquarius heavy Aquarius here your child could be that. This child could be due in Aquarius birth energy. Your baby. I don't know. Ooh. Tell me more. Why is, are they releasing the ex twin? Why are they releasing the twin um, and clearing their energy? Four of Cups. Hmm. Their emotions changed because their responsibilities changed because of the children. Right, and they don't want to fight anymore. So things have changed with the Four of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles has responsibilities, and that's a mother, especially a mother expecting a child. Something new with the fool. Something they prayed for, meditated for, contemplated, waited for. And then here's the child, the princess of swords. This is a lot of air energy for swords, princess of swords. And the fool card, Aquarian energy. Mm. For me. Three of Swords. Wow. Somebody also could have found out that their twin had a child. Okay. Yes. Aries. Somebody could have found out their twin had a child. Outside of their relationship. Yeah, they have a lot of options, Queen of Wands. Or you have options. You know, when the Queen and King of Wands shows up, 
they embody the courage and the confidence to break this past suffering or cycle, even if it is a twin. You know, spiritually, spirit shows up and tells you to gather your thoughts, take control of your thoughts. There's some work to do up ahead, but you can, you have everything within you. And you know what? By the end of this reading, the king or queen of wands shows up, and they're ready to take decisive action. They're ready. They are confident. They are courage. They've been through enough in the past to know that where they're headed is beneficial to them. Yeah, it's a path that's opened up for them. It allows them to get away from some karmic challenges and to change their situation. They're ready. You know, I see somebody got a haircut. Fall is here. The season is changing. Their wardrobe is changing. And it's like, I got a new attitude. Change is here. Courage is here. You're confident. You're headed in a new direction. A direction that takes you away from the past. You know, you do have a choice where you can bring, because this is past energy, into the future. But I think with the Queen of Wands showing up as your last card, this reflects your most current energy, which reflects this woman. You know, determination, courage, confidence, moving on, making progress. You're communicating the right dialogue to yourself, which helps you progress, uh, move forward. You're getting divine communication, too, because everything that you do points up, you know, um, everything that you do is faded. It's a new path. It's like the fool is also here because you have a new path here. Everything is new with this dynamic. Mm. That's why the king or queen of wands shows up. Because rain, sleet, hail, wind. You're going to continue on until you find what you're fated to do, what you're destined to do. Two, 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 two was on the clock when I said that. I'm going to let it end here. Aries, hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the notification bell, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment. And thank you so much for hanging out with me until the bitter ends, until the next move moon phase. Namaste.